Hi everyone, and thanks for showing up to my very first YouTube video. If you enjoy tech, gear, gadgets, and tools, we may have something for you. And as part of that, I've always loved mechanical keyboards. And if you have one yourself, you probably already know that the best way to make it better is to lube those stock switches. But to make your life easier, we're going to need a few things. Most importantly, a lube station. Welcome to Stupid Bullets Tech. If you've done any research at all on how to make that new mechanical keyboard even better, you've probably seen videos about lubing switches on YouTube. With so many of the new keyboards coming with hot swap options, it's now easy to do and no soldering is needed. Properly lubed switches, whether they be linear, tactile, or even clicky, will greatly enhance your experience. To do this right though, you're going to need a few items. First up, you're going to need lube. I told you, I'm not doing that again. While there are many options, most enthusiasts use Crytox 205 Grade Zero. I've been using lube from Divinikeys and have been pleased with their pricing, delivery, and service. Secondly, a switch opener will come in handy, and while you can use tweezers, this inexpensive little tool will stop blood from shooting out of your fingertips should you ever stab yourself. Pro tip, if you do get blood on that fancy new desk mat, wash it out right away. Just trust me. In addition to those items, a small brush, a jeweler's four prong pickup tool, those things will make your life easier. And lastly, the lube station. Unless you're some kind of overly talented switch savant who can somehow magically and perfectly lube switches with one hand, all the while playing the Canadian national anthem on an ukulele with the other, a lube station will save you time, frustration, and maybe your wife, mom, or girlfriend yelling at you to give back her bowls. There are several types of lube stations you can get, and we have chosen four of them to show you some options. You may be familiar with space cables. They are makers of fantastic high-end cables for keyboards, but they also make a particularly good lube station that's offered at $33.69 when I bought mine. KBD Fan seems to sell all sorts of products relating to keyboards, so they too have options. $24.95 gets you one of several colors and is usually in stock. Gray Studio, in addition to their high-end keyboards, also offers a lube station, but was out of stock at the time of this video. Price of their last buy was $44.90. And lastly, Endgame Keys offers a different take on lube stations, being the only one that is 3D printed at $30, but was also sold out at the time of this video. So, you need to pick up a lube station, but which one? There really are no wrong answers here, and I hope this video helps you to choose one that works best for you. Also, we do a lot of tech and keyboard related giveaways on Twitch, link in the description below. More on that at the end of this video. First up, space cables. This loop station is made from a single piece of laser cut acrylic with eight feet on the bottom and has beautifully polished edges. And while my own version has the feet towards the center of the board, they listen very well to customer concerns and now have the feet placed much more to the outside for better stability during assembly. It weighs 172 grams, is five millimeters thick, and will allow you to work on 63 switches at once, but offers no place for springs. With many people bag lubing, this really isn't an issue. If you do not know how to bag lube, there are many videos on YouTube. The cutouts for the switch housings are near perfect on the Space Cables offering, and switches snap easily together with just enough room, although a hand is required to hold the station flat as they can pop out during assembly. Like their other products, the Space Cables Lube Station is very well made and one I recommend easily. The KBD Fans is of the compact variety. It weighs in at 197 grams and holds 35 switches, stems, and springs. I did find the holes cut slightly too large, which can allow parts to fall out if you're not very careful and become lodged sideways in the board, which was frustrating. It does, however, come in several color choices. Green, purple, and yellow are shown here. This would make a very good choice if you have limited desk space and need something a bit smaller to work with, and we're not going to do multiple boards. The Gray Studio Station is the beefiest of the lot. 
Beautifully built and weighing in at 382 grams, it is made from three pieces of five millimeter acrylic screwed together. Almost twice the price of the KBD version, it holds 60 switches, stems, but also has no place for springs. The cutouts for the housing though are very tight, which made reassembly almost impossible. I have been told that this problem is to be addressed, but after several months, sadly, this has not happened. While I had not tried it with every switch, some switches even required a switch removal tool just to pick them up out of the station as they were too tight to be removed with my fingers. You can see how tight the housing cutouts are as it can be turned upside down and shook with no switches falling out. In its current state, I cannot recommend this lube station, but will do an update if and when those parts are shipped to those of us who have purchased it as they promised. Last on our list is the Endgame Key Station. At 130 grams, it is the lightest of all the ones I tested, but suffers no lack of strength as it is 3D printed and well designed with ribs on the back for your play. It is well designed with ribs on the back for added strength. It is 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. It includes feet that can be snapped on, which gives it a slight angle, which is handy. It holds 84 bottom housings, springs, and stems, and I found the cutouts were able to hold switches well, even if the board was bumped or jostled. Switches were easily removed with my fingers, and using it was a pleasure. The odd placement of the horizontal springs feature makes it possible to lube the springs on the board with a brush, although soap and water cleanup will be required when you're finished. If you don't like the bag lube, this may be a benefit to you. The only downside here was some stray plastic filaments from the printing process that needed to be cleaned up, but it only took me a few moments. I can see this station lasting an exceptionally long time. In summary, the Space Gables and Endgame Keys Station are the ones I will use the most. While they take a slightly different approach, both would be a top choice. Mechanical keyboards are very addicting, and chances are that you may end up with several if you're like me especially if you like to tinker, to build things, and enjoy making something better as it only takes a few hours to do. So there you have it. Drop a sub if you'd like to see more keyboard related items as well as tools, gadgets, and gear. And don't forget, we have regular giveaways of gear on Twitch. Good luck to all and remember, be good to yourselves.